Hello, welcome to Texture Myth. In this session, we will cover the further values from RTVisual command. So, in order to explain the same, I am taking the program in edit mode. Now, you can see as usual, we have declared three variables here by referring the IBM official website for the RTVisual command. And once your variable declaration is done, then you can directly write RTVisual and then press F4. So, once you press F4, it will take you to this screen where we are supposed to pass two parameters. First is the value which you want to retrieve from the system and second one is the variable where you want to hold it. Now if you want to know, learn more about this values like what all values we can retrieve and what is the purpose of that then you can press F1 and once you press F1 on this field it will open a help screen for you or a help window and this help window will provide a description of all the values okay so in short you can say that uh, this screen will provide the description of all the uh, well value that we can retrieve from the artificial well command so from here you can get the information and once you got the information then you can directly use it from uh, use it inside your program okay so these are the values are uh, these are the values that we have already covered in our previous session so now i'm taking you directly to that value that we are going to discuss today so today we are going to discuss about this value which is Q second here it is mentioned second of the minute so it will return the seconds changes made to the system value take effect immediately now the second value is Q security system security level changes made to the system value take effect at the next IPL so if you are getting 30 then it means password security at sign on and and object security at each access if you are getting 40 means the password security at signos and object security at each access program that try to access the objects through interfaces are not are not supported with fail will fail okay if you are getting 50 then the system requires a password to sign on and user must have authority to access objects and system resources the security and integrity of the SKU temp library and user domain objects are enforced then programs that try to access the object through the interface that are not supported or that try to pass unsupported parameter values to be supported interface will fail now the third value we are going to discuss is qsf wrr log which means software error log indicates whether the software detected software problem are entered in the error log changes made to the system value take effect immediately so what are the possible outcome for it star log and star no log if you are getting star log then it means uh, that when a software error is detected by the system that error is evaluated to determine if it should be logged unconditionally or it is uh, the decision to log the error should be uh, deferred to the policy based service monitor but if you are getting star no log then it means no logging will occur if software error is detected okay so we got the information now we can simply hit enter and then likewise we are retrieving the other two values you can see okay so now we got the information now we will just print it so for printing we are using sndpgm msg command so just write sndpgm msg press f4 here you can pass your values and it will print it for you now simply compile the program and see what output we are getting for these values so it is compiled successfully now i'm calling it first output is 7 second is 50 and third is standard now if i call it again then it will change why because it is seconds so it will change constantly okay so this is how we can utilize rt uh, this is how we can use utilize the rt with well command for retrieving the system value i hope this session is clear to all of you in the next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching texture method